Easter. Uh, we are so excited, the Elizabeth Smith Music Band, to bring you um, a recording of a concert that we had done. We recorded it and we kind of just, we had it and didn't really feel uh, a certain timing to release it. And uh, when all of this, um, the uh, physical distancing came up with COVID and we thought of something special to do for Easter, we thought, maybe it's time to release the concert that we had done and I think when I think of Easter I think of the, there's a couple words that come to mind and one of them is resurrection life there's life Jesus died on the Good Friday and took our sins and the weight of our um, oppression upon himself and by Sunday the greatest miracle that has ever happened he rose from the dead and provided a way for us to have a relationship with him not about religion it's not about um, rituals it's really about a relationship and the realization that we can have that power the same power that raised him from the dead living in us that resurrection life can be alive in us and that resurrection life is what brings hope and that's what this concert's all about. It's about hope. And uh, you'll hear me talk about it uh, partway through the evening that you can't even live without hope. So today on Easter Sunday, let us recognize that he's alive, that his power that raised him from the dead is alive in us. And that life can bring hope to all of our situations. Doesn't matter if it's a world pandemic or even the smallest detail in your own life that needs hope. Jesus died for all of that, and I am praying that the words in these songs would really sink deep in your heart and bring you hope today on Easter Sunday. So be blessed.
three days without water. You can live eight minutes without air, but not even one minute without cold. My journey into really investigating into what cold is began in my master's degree. So I worked as a nurse and I saw such hopelessness in some people and it, it devastated me. So it prompted me to really dig in and investigate like, what, what is hope and what does it mean? Hope isn't about feeling good. It's not optimism. Optimism is this generalized expectancy that good things are going to happen. Hope is different than that. It's about the future. It's about setting goals and looking towards the future. Research also shows that it's something that can be taught. We can inspire others to hope. We can start to set goals and the future seems more manageable than that for its hope and people. For me, my hope is really rooted in my faith. I believe that there's a God. I believe that he created this earth, that he sent his son as a savior to us, and that he loves us with an everlasting love, that he has good things for us. He is, his plans for us are good. There's a verse in the Bible, it's in Jeremiah, that says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. He plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a hope in the future. Somewhere else in the Bible, in Romans, it says how, how God is working all things together for good for those who love Him. And I really believe that that's what, where my hope lies. I know that there's the creator of the universe who loves me, who has a bright future for me. And even when I can't see good things, I can believe that He's going to work things all, all things together for my good.
He deposited it home into my life, and I began to want to live. I believed God had a great plan for my life. He had given me a future and a hope. I wanted to change and become who God had created me to be. I made a promise to the Lord that no matter what happened in life, I was going to trust Him. I didn't want to serve Him just for what He could do for me. I wanted to serve Him because I love Him. A few years after I gave my life to Jesus, I ended up sick in the emergency department at the hospital where I was given a life-altering diagnosis. I was told that I had type 1 diabetes. This was such a shock to me. I can remember having so many thoughts of fear and shame and a struggle with thinking, I'm not good enough now, I'm not whole. My desire of having a future family one day seemed to be lost. I held on to the hope that God had planted in my life and I began to trust Him. I truly experienced that God can bring good from disaster. He has given me a hope that has turned into a strength that no matter what happens, He's with me and He can make a way where there seems to be no way. A few years after that happened, I ended up meeting an amazing, handsome man at church. He's also a doctor. I prayed for someone who would love me for me and God delivered him into my life. Uh, I guess you could say God had a good plan and a good man. It was amazing how, uh, again, God brought him into my life. And uh, we ended up getting married and had the most beautiful wedding. It was truly beyond my dreams. Um, not long after we were married, I ended up getting pregnant. We were both so overjoyed and so excited by this news. Um, at about 10 weeks during the pregnancy, I almost lost the baby. And this was kind of a difficult thing. I held on to a scripture through that, and it was, um, those who hope in the Lord will not be put to shame. God kept our baby safe, and months later, I gave birth to a beautiful, healthy baby boy. In life, so many things can seem uncertain, but one thing I'm certain about, that the Lord is real. He can bring good from disaster, and, and He can make a way where there seems to be no way. At times, it seems that I've come to a hopeless end, but with Jesus, I have found endless hope.
relationship with God through Jesus Christ. Yes, I'm getting a little older, but I look towards my future and I have hope because of what Jesus has done for me. I'm going to spend eternity in heaven with Him. I became a Christian about 40 years ago and at the time I knew very little about God, but I did remember a childhood song, Jesus Loves Me. And I sang that song over and over and over and over. And I felt like it filled me with something. It filled me with the hope in God that there's a Heavenly Father that has my life in His hands. There's a scripture I'd like to read from 1 Peter. And it says, In His great mercy He has given us a new birth and a living hope. Hope is believing that the God of all creation always has your best interests at heart. Hope for me is knowing that no matter what I face or how dark it gets, that God will always see me through and that He can always make a way. To me, hope means that with God, the best is always yet to come and no matter the situation, I know that the outcome is always going to be for my good. Well, hope for us um, means uh, waiting on God's timing with patience and in confidence and expecting all the, the good things God has for us. And I think also hope is like an anchor, that it's something to hold on to when unexpected things happen, maybe in our relationship or maybe in our own personal lives. Um, hope is something that isn't shaken and it gives us something to look forward to in the future. Hope is the most stabilizing force in my life. For me, hope means that even through the darkest of nights, I can persevere because the morning will come. Hope is the thing that gets you through the hard times in life. It's like when everything around you is dark and confusing and you don't know where to step or where to go and then you just look at the horizon and see just the faintest glow and instantly know that everything is going to be okay. The way that photographers used to develop photos was in a dark room, but just a little bit of light added to the mix makes the picture become clear. And I think that's what hope is like, even just a little bit can make everything brighter and clearer. To me, hope is believing that the Lord has something better for you than your current situation. Hope means trusting my future and my God. Hope is life. It brings life. Hope is holding on to the truth that God loves me and that in His time, He will fulfill my desires in maybe a way that I haven't expected it to happen.
God to do something fresh for you. The last song that was sung tonight was about revival, about in this world it's just so dark and the song was written before this pandemic hit but boy it really is a good one to expose our present plight and even in the midst of a terrible time God can still do good things if he does something fresh in all of us that's something really good. Have you been brought to the place maybe tonight where you're like, you know, maybe I need to cry out to God. Maybe I need to put my hope in Him. I'm not sure there's a lot else right now that can bring me through. And tonight, if that is, revival is God doing something fresh. It's something new. Lots of scriptures talk about the times where we enter into situations in our own lives where we do this. But tonight, in many ways, it's like everybody is facing the same thing. I'm going to get down at the front of the church here as I am sitting in our main auditorium where we usually on Easter Sunday have gathered together and have an incredible time. I hope you've had a, uh, something further in your heart of faith brought forward in you tonight through the singing and the music that we've been enjoying this evening. But as we close, you can take this moment and right at the end often of our church services in this place right here, many, many people come to the front of this building and just kneel down on what is often called an altar where we just give to God the things that we're dealing with, stand, we pray. Would you pray or would you like to pray with me tonight? Maybe you're at home, you can get down right now in front of the TV or even on your cell phone and pray a very simple prayer. God's not gonna grade you on how well you pray this. All that really matters is that in your heart, Take the time to actually talk to him, to call out to him, to say something to him. God, do something fresh in the midst of the pandemic that I'm finding in my life. God, we're going to call out to him tonight. I'm going to get on my knees. You can join me if you'd like. I'd encourage you to do it for your family, for your friends, for this whole world, the nation that we're in. We're just so thankful for the so many 
people. Maybe they, someone lives beside you that's a first responder, a doctor, a, a person in government. So thankful for all the things that people are doing right now. But if you'd like to join me, you can get down on your knees and just pray and ask God. We're thankful for what we have right now, but we're also asking him to do things that we're bringing to him tonight. Would you like to join me? God, we're so thankful, God, that tonight we know in faith, as that last song said, we need a revival, God, in these dark times, a fresh thing that you can do from heaven. Maybe in my home, my family, with me, my wife, my children. Maybe I'm by myself. But God, I need a fresh, a fresh touch. God, Lord, tonight, it's not something that we can position ourselves for. God, we need you to help. God, so many of us feel like real ruin has come. God, I pray, Lord, that we would quote the verses of the Bible that shed light on what your plans are for us. God, the hope that you have for us. God, I pray that no one would feel lost or forgotten tonight. God, where we've missed friendship or maybe we just feel so uh, unfruitful in everything we're doing. I pray, Lord, whatever it is that we're asking of you, God, maybe just a fresh start with you tonight. I pray, Lord, even as I get on my knees right here, may somebody join me out there. May somebody say a little prayer about what they're feeling to you. God, you've brought, Lord, us hope tonight in this concert. Bring us hope in our lives tonight. God, we ask, Lord, through your son, Jesus, that every knee would bow and every tongue confess that you're Lord tonight and we need your help. God, I pray we would do it right now. God, in the midst of whatever we're doing in this world right now, I pray we'd take the time to call out to you. God, bring us to the place where we know that we can call on your name, God, right now. May in our heart we tell you, God, we need you. We need hope from you. God, over this pandemic, please, Lord, may this thing stop. Lord, we just pray in each individual life, the impact of what's happened in our lives, that we turn to you, that we turn our whole house to you, Lord. There's an old verse that says, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. God, tonight, may whole households turn to you in faith for a fresh thing that would come from God tonight. Start something new in us. In Jesus' name, we pray this Easter. Amen and amen. God bless you tonight in Jesus' name.